I'm Grant Cosgrove, CEO of Triathlon Victoria, and I'm a Change Our Game champion. Grant, congratulations on being a Change Our Game champion. Triathlon is a sport that historically has involved men and women almost since the beginning. Yeah, I think that's one of the beauties of being a, a modern sport. You know, 1970s is the birth of triathlon, although that's always a bit of conjecture about where it exactly starts. But it, it hooked into that 70s endurance um, philosophy of the the real upsurge in marathon running and endurance events. And, um, you know, the story goes of it was the challenge between the swimmer, the biker and the runner and... Um, using three events in Hawaii was the start of, you know, really the birth of triathlon. It had a great story. Um, but yeah, men and women at that stage in the 1970s, there, there wasn't the same level of, I, I suppose, gender inequity that had been around for hundreds of years for other sports. And so we're, we're really fortunate to have started when we did. And from an Australian perspective, with the likes of Emma Carney, McKeeley Jones and Loretta Harrop, etc., women have been at the forefront as well, which must be helping you in your capacity to grow the sport holistically today? Yeah, well, look, we're, we're really fortunate about the success on the international stage, especially, especially through a period of the 90s where, you know, Australia dominated, whether it be men or women. Um, but the women were at the forefront. Um, they were incredible competitors. And I think a, a lot of admiration from the public about the way they went about it um, certainly demonstrated to everyone that it was a sport that everyone could enjoy. Um, it was a sport that was about um, endurance, about discipline, about hard work and training, and it didn't matter whether you were male or female, um, you went out and gave it your best. And we had some great exponents in that time that really demonstrated that um, when you went out and did your best, that was all anyone would ever ask of you. So that's the upside. The downside, of course, is that having that sort of growth brings challenges. What, what is the number one challenge that you would be facing today for Triathlon Victoria in terms of involving more women and girls in the sport? Yeah, I think our, our real number one challenge is around senior role models uh, within the network. Um, we've identified that and um, fortunately are, are a partner in the Change Our Game program and have some funding to address those challenges. But it's certainly around, I, I always believe you can't be what you can't see. Um, and so we need more female officials at the senior levels, taking the senior roles at events, um, being the people on the microphone, giving the pre-race briefing. We need more female coaches. Um, there, is, there is differences in the way in which men and women um, participate and like to be coached. Um, and, and women have a real role around developing more female participation and, and bringing that side of our sport. We're about uh, 65 per cent male, 35 per cent female. So whilst we would believe we're very gender neutral, really the participation and membership stats state that twice as many men as women participate. So there are some challenges there and that extends down into Clubland where, you know, the traditional committee structure of, of presidents and executives, uh, a lot of those positions are taken up by, by men. Um, we have only about 18% of presidents across our clubs are female. Um, we'd like to grow that to at least be equitable with our participation and membership, so in that 35%. And, you know, the end game is to have a 50-50, and um, that goes across, you know, Triathlon Victoria, Triathlon Australia, and, and even worldwide triathlon and some of the big players like Ironman have a, have a real aspiration for 50-50. So there's a lot of good goals there. Um, new to the Change Our Game program as a, as a champion, when we come back at the end of the year and check in on you, what are you hoping to get out of the program in this year? Um, I, I think there are a lot of people in there that um, will have experienced some of the challenges we have. You know, we're, we're a fair bit smaller than a number of the other organisations involved. Um, whilst I've been in the in the sports administration sphere for 20 odd years now, I'm pretty experienced. I'm always one that um, takes some humility about, I can still learn from others. Um, so I'm looking for that from, from other people as to how they've tackled some of these issues. I think there's an interesting byplay for, for me and for our organisation between, um, there needs to be some real practicality um, and encouragement around progress, but there also needs to be um, the hard edge policy development to make sure that um, 
if I was to leave, that it doesn't, the, the passion and enthusiasm doesn't diminish and there's some real structure and, and policy behind it to make sure that it's uh, an ongoing um, effort from our organisation. There's a lot also of support from a board perspective around this. Um, we've managed to be relatively gender neutral at a board level, so we have nine board members. We've been five, four, four, five for the whole four years I've been involved. And that commitment at the board level, I think is really important because that feeds down through the staff and through the subcommittees of the organisation, that it's not just Grant Cosgriffe, um, that it's Triathlon Victoria and it's us committed towards uh, changing the game and making sure that we've got greater female participation. I'm Grant Cosgrip, CEO of Triathlon Victoria and I'm a Change Our Game champion.